Hello everybody, welcome to my second video. Uh, I showed you in the first video how the robot arm works, robotic arm of three degrees of freedom, and today or I'm going to show you how, as I promised you, I'm going to show you how to program that in MATLAB. Uh, to start with, you have to get all the components that I showed you in the other video. You can put everything together. You have your robotic arm model, you put your arm, whatever you want to use for the robotic arm and then put everything together connect you to your Arduino use the Arduino software and then get the files that I, I'm gonna put a link for the files that you need and you get to get them from that link and just download them to the Arduino board that's the first step once you download the files that's it forget about the Arduino close the software of the Arduino and go to MATLAB I have done this before and there are some other videos I, I will put a link on how to do that um, there are the videos that show how to put the, how to download the files to the Arduino uh, let's do that and then start programming on MATLAB um, after downloading the file you go to MATLAB and you define first of all what I did right here I just said clear A uh, just want to make sure not no values like uh, nobody used A before so just clear A and if you're starting you don't need to and then we define A as a global and in MATLAB uh, it's kinda different but when you define a variable as a global uh, of course you wanna define it as a global because you wanna pass it to more than one routine or you wanna pass it to another function uh, what is different in MATLAB is when you pass it to the other like suppose you're gonna pass it to another function when you go to that function you have to say again that global a again you have to define this again like declare it again as global so it has access to the same a it will be the same a you're not defining something new it's the same a but this is how MATLAB works so uh, we're not gonna I don't think this is important for now uh, but let's just put it as global and then uh, we say that A is global and then we we just you have to type in this command like this you say Arduino we say A is Arduino uh, I think the file that we downloaded in the in the uh, Arduino board has a class called Arduino where it knows what's what's the specification of the Arduino so you just say Arduino and the pink here is you the name of the port you have it just happened to be uh, in my case because I have a Mac and it happened to be this name USB modem 641 and my other USB port is 611 I don't know about you guys but maybe all Macs are the same for the PC I think it's COM3 so we just define put the name of the port where you connect your Arduino and this is how you connect to the Arduino board. This is how you actually establish the communication. Let's evaluate this and see what happens in the command line. So you can see that it's okay, it's attempting connection. It will take a few seconds to connect and then we can start programming. We will see. So Arduino successfully connected. That's perfect. That's what we want. So now we can communicate from MATLAB to the Arduino. Um, the second step is, which is good about the Arduino, as we said, that Arduino knows what a servo motor is. So we just say A, which is the Arduino we defined, and then you say servo attach. This is the same as the command as the one in the Arduino software, if you've worked before with the Arduino. So we have, in my case, I have the servo motors connected to the 8th, 9th and 10th pins pulse width modul modulation like the digital pins so I'm connecting three motors to the 8th, 9th and 10th I can do I can do them at, like one at, at a time and you should hear something about the connection and and then I connect the other one like you, when the motor connects sometimes you hear something like this and then connect the last one and it's in the same position so there is no sound okay so now I'm connected to the 8, 9 and 10 so we connected them to the three motors so the first degree of freedom is uh, in the 8th this is the first motor so I'm gonna control the second degree of freedom 
with the second motor at the ninth pin and the same for the tenth pin for the third degree of freedom so that's it now what you can do you can solve your inverse kinematics or whatever you want to do with the whatever equations how you control your thetas uh, this is the free rotation this is a routine I did last time in my last video I don't want to do it again but it's just a routine to move the rotation you can see there is my weight here which is equivalent to the delay in the in the Arduino programming environment but this my weight is not built in in MATLAB I had to download it from somewhere online and then let's see how I solved the inverse kinematics first I defined the first link which is the D this is the height of the first link and this is my second link is A2 and A3 so I have to and this is in centimeters this is the length of each of the links so we have to evaluate this and then I have like cases of the like the point I want to go to the coordinates of the points I want to go to like this is case one let's go for case one I want XC to be at zero YC to be zero ZC to be the length of the three of the lengths so basically I want my robotic arm to stand like to the maximum point in the Z directions um, this is case 2 and case 3 we can run it but we will stick with one case for now and then here is the thetas the inverse kinematics equation and the a102 is really important function because it takes care or it takes two argument usually 10 inverse takes to only one argument but the a102 takes two argument and this is good because uh, it will take care of the sign if the if the theta is in the first quadrant or the fourth one so it will know the difference right and then this is like variable D if you know how to solve the three degrees of freedom they call it elbow if you open any book or manual you'll see that the elbow they call it the elbow robotic arm where you can find all these equations and you have to solve for theta 1 and then theta 3 and then at last he solved, I mean finally solved for theta 2 once you solved for them and this is your inverse kinematics this is your math, this is your homework mathematics homework you do it you solve for the three thetas and then you go here and we because it will solve in in radian so we gotta convert them to um, degrees so I just converted that to degrees three of them uh, this is a plus 90 because of my special case that it happened that my the third degree of freedom zero is not aligned but you don't have to do this it depends on what you want and then after you solved them you converted them to uh, two degrees and then you can write it because why degrees because the Arduino the, the servo motors in Arduino takes from zero to 180 so you have to convert them to degrees or this is the way I did it I don't know if you have some other methods guys and then we have to write the motors to move so we defined the motors first here we attach them to the pins and we solve whatever we want to solve here and then we now we write the solution to the equation to the to the servo motors thetas right so this is how you write you say a which is the Arduino we have dot servo servo right you see here it was servo attach and now here it's servo right and then you put the number of the theta you want to change we the pin where the theta is attached the, we said that the first one is 8 the second is 9 and the last one is 10 and we didn't put theta direct theta 1 we put int 64 why int 64 because we don't want fractions int 64 will take it from we'll, we'll just round it off so we do not want fractions that's why you put n64 and uh, then we did it for this the same thing after the solution theta 2 and theta 3 and this if we evaluate this it should move our robotic arm to the 
place we want it to be. So it's it's just moved to the direction we want it to move to. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, this is basically how I did this. If you want to make it a little bit fancy, you can do some uh, other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna load another video well, after you watch this. I'm gonna like upload another video on how to make uh, sliders where you can connect your thetas with sliders. See you then guys. Take care.